Hi guys, welcome to another video tutorial by Andrew Tutorials for you. Um, so, I can promise I'll post like 3-4 to four videos this week, but I don't think so. I'll try to, okay? Um, so today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a timeline cover. Um, okay, but before this I'm going to answer the question, how, how do I change the cursor? It's always the stars and how to use PSDs. Um, okay, so how do you change the cursor to click star one? Okay, let me show you how. Because I got already two questions of it, so I guess I wasn't really that clear about it. So, yeah. Um. Okay, wait. Okay, so, you can see, press here. And you gotta right click this, and you press options. Then you gotta press this thing, okay? Um, then something's gonna pop up. In the video, you need to download the pack thing. And I gave you some of the skins, so you choose the skin you want, like in the folder, just a the folder. Then you press OK. Then you press OK again, then it's gonna be like the skin you chose. I hope that's clear. Um, okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to make diamond cover in Photoshop. I have a lot of different types. That, this, and this. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do all these three. This is the most simple one. This is kind of complicated, but not really. you got to take some time so it look kind of nicer. And this kind of complicated, but wait. This is kind of complicated, but it's still worth it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how. So, these first of all, you gotta open three pictures. Okay, these three pictures make them all the same size, resize them, and then you can see like um, one part's like okay, let me just show you how easier. Okay, finally they opened. I don't know why I'm just obsessed with using these pictures. So you gotta take these, uh, any three pictures and drag them to your file. Oh, by the way, your file size is, um, 720 pixels for width and height is 266. Yeah, I forgot to say that first. Um, I'm gonna just put an annotation so you would notice it. Okay. Um drag all these three and I would just select them all and like CTRL T and resize them that's what I usually do to pictures why aren't they moving anyways okay so I resize all these three pictures so you gotta put them in order well really um like you put them on one over here Another like in the middle. It's kind of your choice how you want to put it. Let's just put three together. Um. And well, if you don't like it, you can change it. You know, like however you want it. And you think they don't match and stuff. You can also fix it. Like this is yours. You can do anything with it. So you don't have to follow exactly what I do. Um. Okay. So, I use a candid, that's why it's kind of like, the backgrounds don't match so perfectly. But if it's like a candid, um, if it's not a candid, well, you can kind of use the sponge tool. Um, I don't know how to fix these so they would match, because the backgrounds aren't the same. So, it's kind of really hard to do it. So, um, let me just... I'll erase this part, okay? Use this brush, okay? The one that's hardened is zero. And you erase the parts that you don't want the picture to have. Sometimes it makes your um pictures match, kinda. Um so do that. Well, I would just suggest a photo shoot, okay? those three if you don't really like them like if you don't use a candid you use like this resize them all 
and you merge them all. Well, before you merge, make sure you use the sponge tool and the background that's darker. Use the sponge tool to make them like both lighter. I don't know, I got someone saying that sponge tool doesn't work. I'm not sure. They usually only work for photo shoots on like background. And you color it on the darker side. Um Okay, that's the first one. Then you got you're gonna make one shape like this. Oops, I'm sorry. Um one shape like this using this okay, rectangle tool. Make a shape like this. Then you press CTRLJ, CTRLJ, and to make like three of them and put them, arrange them like this. And the middle one, which is this one, um, you make the opacity lighter, so like, make it all like these, and make the opacity lighter, and then you can put text, like, is this for your page? Well, you can add the page name, because... But I don't have any Selena Gomez page, so I'll just put Selena Gomez and add, don't forget to like, and you're done. You can add your logo or whatever. And now, this one, okay, this is really simple. Um, so first of all, you're gonna have to put a pattern first. Um, the pattern you use, it can be any pattern, so... Don't worry about the pattern. After you put all the patterns, you put four pictures. Make sure they're like the same size. So like you'll be easy it'll be easier for you like to use them. Okay, like this. Or if that doesn't work, like if you have pictures like this and you want to use it, do this. Triangle. Cut how big you want it. Okay, then you drag it to your fo file, then after that you press this again, move it to the other files, so the box will be kind of like the same, then do it again to all the four, and they will be the same size, and until you get all the four, after you get all the four, add a shape, okay, the shape, make it like that, you can do the three kinds, or like only one, it depends any kind is fine um then you got you can put like text here um well this doesn't look so good because the page name i don't have a German Lovato page and it's like so small uh the title is kind of short so i'm not really sure so i'll put the link at the bottom and i'll put like something like giving you daily updates and i put a link of the page I don't have a demo of other page. I'm just being very random. At the bottom there, I put goal 15k. And leave the space blank because remember, it's going to be covered by the profile picture. And this, you can do whatever you want and you can put your logo. And now this. Um, this is not complicated. Um, so here's how you do it. Wait. Um... Okay, so first of all, you gotta use a pattern. Um, if you want to download this pattern, go to my How to Make It Wear background and go to the pattern link. I give you the link. To download this one. So first of all, you're gonna need to take five pictures from a photo shoot. Um, cut out three of them and put them, arrange them however you like. Okay, put them like in here. Cut them three cut them out like three of them then you gotta make then use this tool and cut out two two circles okay two circles and you put it over here then you gotta um you can put your logo somewhere um then you can put Taylor Swift, and you could put your page name, so, um, you have a, you were doing this for a page name, okay, I don't really know any page names, so I'm just gonna say Swifties Forever and Always, Swifties Forever and Always, and I would use the font Impact, and I would 
changed the color to red-ish, kind of, a little bit, since, you know, the color of their sh her shirt's kind of like red, so, um, then you resize it, make it bigger, then you can put the page name over here, you know, anywhere you like, just make sure this part is empty, and put a text of the celebrity name over here, and you can put a style, you know, like, um, this, I put in a style, because I usually do, um, okay, I put in a style like that, and here, um, you can put the celebrity name, and then, yeah, that's kind of it, it's very simple, it's not that hard, you just need to cut out three PNGs, two circles, add your logo, add the celebrity name over here, and add the page name, oops, it was spelled N, oh, it's okay, um, then you add a PSD after that, oh, also here and here, you can also add a PSD, it's your choice, but sometimes I choose not to, because I'm too lazy, <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it, I hope this is kind of, like, helpful, because I think I didn't really explain it so clearly, I just didn't want to take so long. Um, an announcement, if, yeah, I'll be very busy next week, so, that's why I'm trying to post a lot of videos this week. And yeah, if I sound weird, I think I'm having a cough or something. Um, so, yeah, I hope this helps. Uh, that's how I make my timeline covers. Those are the three types. Um, I don't really have new types yet. But if I do, I guess I'll do a tutorial on it, but maybe. I still have your tutorials to do. I'm going to do some soon. Um, yeah, I hope this helps. Please subscribe. And thank you for all the people who says my videos are useful and everything. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.